what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am Rabia, and in today's tutorial we will be doing the simple daytime look beginner friendly and totally totally perfect for a girl on a budget like myself so if you're keen on checking out how i achieve this look continue watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you guys can see that i have upgraded where lighting is concerned i managed to get myself a ring light or my hubby actually built one for me so that you guys can actually see what it is that i'm doing on my eyes and on my face at all times so i've already gone in i've exfoliated and applied some of the bioderma day cream and then over that i've used my essence fit fresh and fit primer this primer is so good it's so underrated um, very affordable um, also essence is one of my favorite brands so I've gone and put that on I filled my brows out a bit with some dark powders and then I also went over that with my essence make me brow and then I've just concealed a bit underneath that just to clean up those lines with my Maybelline fit me concealer and then also set it with my Catrice nude illusion um, this is a mattifying powder it's a loose powder it's um, transparent I will put all the details down below so today I'm just feel like going for a soft natural look at each daytime going to be out in direct sunlight so I don't want to overdo it so I'm going in with my switch slays for days palette this one over here so I'm going to be using brown because I'm feeling a bit neutral today so I'm going in with my small eye blender brush and I'm going to be using the shade Chelsea with this little brown shade over there and I'm going to be applying that just above my crease and I'm working that all the way across feeling a neutral glammy a gram but nothing too glam so I'm going in with La Cire. it's this brown shade next to it it's got this orangey undertone to it and I'm just going to be applying that to my crease and all over my lower lid as I said I don't want too much going on today it's a kitty's party that I'm going to so I don't want to overdo it so just for some extra sparkle or to finish this look off a bit, I'm going to be applying some concealer just to the center points of my eye and then I'm going to be applying a shimmery shade over that as I feel like being a bit, not extra, but just finish the look off a bit. So I'm using my flat brush, it's really dense, and I'm picking up some of that concealer, the same concealer that I used to conceal my eyes, and I'm going to just tap that in the center of my crease just applying some of that to the center part of my eye so I'm going to keep that concealer in the center one of my strong points. Now that that concealer is has set, I'm going to go in with a shimmery shade. I'm going in with the shade Nikki. It's this champagne goldish and I'm applying some of that to my fingertips as I really want to get that shimmer onto my lid as well. So I'm just placing that powders all over the area that I just concealed. That nice shimmery look. And then again 
went with my smaller blending brush I'm going to be picking up some of Lerato and I'm going to be applying that to the sides basically like a halo to the outer corners and along the inner corners the colors should really go quite nicely And then I will be going back into Chelsea. Chelsea is the first shade that we use just to even out those harsh lines of the cut crease. So we're going to apply that above the crease. And then just blend that into that color. And I just use it to end. Circular motion. Try not to go too high up with these darker shades. So that completes the eye. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara and the mascara I'm using today is by Essence. This is I Love Extreme Crazy Volume. You can of course at this stage add your falsies. So just to open up the eyes a bit, I'm going in with a white eyeliner and I'm going to be placing this to my waterline and I'm going in with Michelle Audi. Little pencil over here. I don't think there's a specific shade. Oh, there is. Snow White um, 712. This one I purchased at Clix. I'm of course going to be placing some of those powders underneath my lower lash line but that I will do once my I've done my um, foundation so we're getting into that part of this tutorial so for foundation today I'm going in with my Revlon 24 hour color stay this is in the shade top three is quite sheer I'm not wanting to go all out I usually go full coverage if it's a night time maybe this is during the day and I'm still wanting that skin like feel this is a medium coverage foundation so you can still see your freckle and um, it's quite buildable so obviously the more layers you add the more concealed your areas will be so I'm going in with my Sorbet Blend and Blur sponge. I'm just going to be dabbing out the foundation into my skin. You guys can see I'm filming in my bedroom today. I've got my lights so and I can basically film anywhere in the house. Not having to worry about depending on natural sunlight. As you can see, at least coverage, but not full, full coverage. So you still get that smooth effect, but more skin like. And it is dewy. I love the way this foundation, as well as the Essence Primer, it works so well together. It just gives that skin like that nice, dewy, glowy finish. Just making sure that there's no harsh lines, no telltale lines or foundation as I am going to be in sunlight today. 
just making 100% sure that everything is blended. So I'm going to begin with my highlighting. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 again. I'm just going to be placing some of that underneath my eye. And then down the bridge of my nose. I'm running out of this concealer. I really, really love it as it's easy to blend. And then I'm going in with my Knock Off In Mind concealer just to place on the spots that I'm wanting to chisel out a bit and obviously my fire lid to make that spots appear smaller and then this one's on my nose so Murphy's Law I got my light set up but now my filming is I'm not gonna get into that I my camera decided to cut out certain parts of this video so I'm just gonna blend those concealers in before they sit into place so I'm using the one end of the sponge to, cut, to blend out that darker concealer and I'm going to be using the opposite end to blur out my highlighted areas where I place those lighter foundations or concealers So my camera keeps cutting me off. I managed to smooth out my concealers, but down my contour, down the sides of my cheeks, and as well as my forehead. And then I've smoothed out that lighter concealers under the eyes. So I'm going over that with my bronzer. And I'm just going to be placing some of that on the areas where I contoured with that liquid concealer. Just doing this just to enhance the shape a bit. Okay, just blend it out. So it looks more natural, like a natural kind of a glow to it. I hate using powders, but this is the only powder that I'm using in my bronzer. Just to enhance the contour that we've got going on over there. I'm rushing through this as I'm running late. And then of course down the sides of my nose. To finish off the eyes, I'm going in with a smaller brush and I'm using the small one over here, the same one I used earlier on. And I'm going to be applying some of Zola. Zola is about two shades darker than the actual shade that I used on my lids. And I'm just going to be filling out the bottom part of my lower lash. So we're placing that powder below that white pencil. Just to finish off that eye and make that white stand out a bit more. For some highlighter, I'm going in with my Switch Glowgasm Highlighting Palette. And because it is daytime, I'm not going to overdo it with highlights. So I'm just going to be going in with Lit AF. And I'm using my little fan brush. I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones. Just to highlight certain areas. Focusing most of their powders to the tip of my nose and then some of that same shade just below my brows. So that is what the face beat looks like for the day. I'm going to continue with the lips just to end off the lips. So for the lips, I'm keeping it fairly simple. I'm going in with a lip gloss. This one is by Yardley London, known as High Definition Color and Shine. And this is in the shade Glamour Girl. It's got this brown undertone to it. Quite pigmented for a gloss. Perfect for a daytime look. So this completes today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. 
If there's anything that you're wanting to see on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. I will be doing a hair tutorial this week, something quite exciting. And there is a competition going live on my Instagram page. So be sure to enter. It's quite, quite impressive. I've collaborated with Ellipse here and then we've put together something really, really, really special for you guys. If you haven't heard of Ellipse, there is a demo down below. I think about two to three tutorials below as well as a hair tutorial on a similar look like this. Hair curls done completely with a flat iron. Quite easy, done within 10 minutes. But yeah, thank you for coming back to this channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And until next time.